Good evening, the state television company Westerner Media represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the regular setting of the government of Western Armenia took place. First batch of Russian Sputnik V vaccine delivered to Armenia. Member of Parliament Kenanoglu suggested setting up a parliamentary commission in order to investigate the Kochkiri massacre. Artsakh foreign minister. Azerbaijan is intruded into roads leading to Stepanakert. This is manifestation of terrorism. Beijing denounces Turkish politicians. The first van cats of 2021 of van Western Armenia. New finds from the Urartian region discovered near Garmir Blur. Cooperation between Matenadaran and the University of Hamburg. The regular setting of the government of Western Armenia took place online on April 7. The Prime Minister of Western Armenia led the setting. The members of the government congratulated women on their day. Ten issues were discussed, seven of which were not reported and one was secret. The activities of the members of the government of Western Armenia during April, the preparations for the events dedicated to the commemoration of the genocide against Armenians, and organizational issues were discussed during the sitting. The first batch of the Russian Sputnik V vaccine against COVID-19 was brought to Armenia. The Yerevan Office of Russia's Federal Agency for the Commonwealth of Independent States Affairs, Compatriots Living Abroad, and International Humanitarian Cooperation reported via Arman Press. In the first phase, people eligible for vaccination are those who are at risk. I'd like to note that this is the continuation of the large-scale assistance which is being provided to Armenia in fighting the coronavirus. This is the brightest example of the close cooperation and brotherly relations between our nations, Pavel Gurochin, the advisor at the Russian embassy in Armenia, said. Ali Kenanoglu, a member of pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party in Istanbul, called on the National Assembly to investigate the Kochgeri massacre on the occasion of its 100th year. The mediation mentioned the following. According to the news, Nureddin Pasha announced that he had coded with the ZO code and had eliminated those who uttered the Armenian name. He would personally eliminate the roots of those who say Kurdish by coding them with LO code. According to him, he defeated 500 insurgents and drove 2,000 people to different parts of Anatolia. The tribes of Kochgiri, the vast majority of whom were Kızılbaş Kurds, Zazas, lived in the 135 villages of the historic Dersim Sanjak and did not have warm relations with the Ottoman state and the Istanbul government until the early 20th century. At the end of the First World War, after different nations that declared their independence during the disintegration of the Ottoman Empire, the Kurds also united and the tribes of Kochgiri, becoming closer to the Kurdish communities, began to express their demands for autonomy in 1990. The Azerbaijanis' intrusion into the road leading to Stepanakert is also a form of terrorism and barbarism, Artsakh Foreign Minister David Babayan told this to Past Info. On Tuesday, the Azerbaijani military bypassed the checkpoint of the Russian peacekeeping forces in the Shushi sector and moved in the direction of Artsakh capital Stepanakert and made an inscription on the sign placed near the tank monument on this road. Of course, we will take appropriate measures so that such incidents don't happen. This is a big blow not only for us, but also for the peacekeepers, and they will also take appropriate steps, Babayan said. This violation of the tripartite obligation was registered by the Russian peacekeepers, as evidenced by the inscription made on the sign placed near the tank monument. But it is not excluded that there have been cases in the past without leaving traces, or they may be, thus endangering the lives of the population of Artsakh. Beijing has condemned Turkish politicians over comments about alleged human rights abuses in the Xinjiang region, South China Morning Post reports. Chinese Foreign Ministry spokesman Zhao Linjian on Wednesday said there were individual Turks openly inflating the arrogance of terrorists on Twitter, challenging China's territorial integrity, even inciting the misleading rhetoric of separatists. The first Venkats of 2021 were born in the Venkat Villa in Van, Western Armenia, which thousands of local and foreign tourists visit every year. Venkats are protected. They are considered as one of the most important values in the city. Ten mother Venkats gave birth to about 25 kittens. This year, the birth of cats was delayed by about 20 days as a result of the epidemic. The Venkat Villa mentioned the following. We will try to keep the birth rate at the highest level this year. We will do our best to raise the kittens healthy. Excavations are underway for several days near the Garmir Blur ancient site of the Erebuni Historical Archaeological Reserve Museum. Pottery fragments were found during the construction of the road. 
the Information and Public Relations Department of the Yerevan Municipality told Armen Press that the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sports of Armenia has given permission for urgent excavations, as a result of which interesting findings have been found. It is a piece of jar with straps and glitter. We have different fragments of local urchin bowls and jars. Most of the found material dates back to the BC 6th to 7th centuries. The outer part of the wall, which is about 2 meters wide, is seen. A new district or fences seem to be here. It is possible to find extraordinary finds. Mikhail Badalian, director of the Erebuni Historical Archaeological Reserve Museum, mentions. Excavations will continue in the area adjacent to the new road. The wall of the Ararat Kingdom was first noticed by the ancient workers. The Garmin Blur ancient site can make many new and interesting discoveries to the world and tell more than we know today. It can also become a center for the development of archaeological tourism. A memorandum of cooperation was recently signed between the Master of Mashtots Madenadaran and the University of Hamburg. The initiative of Michael Friedrich, director of the Center for the Study of Manuscript Cultures at the University of Hamburg, and Vahant El Revonzian, director of Madenadaran, will boost direct and mutually beneficial cooperation between the two countries in the field of manuscript preservation and manuscript heritage research. The cooperation plans training of highly qualified specialists in the fields of manuscripts, manuscript preservation, restoration, cataloging, digitalization, as well as exchange of scientific experience, implementation of joint programs, bilateral visits of specialists and researchers. Now I present you Tagaran Ensemble Anor. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.